Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is going to be a very special reading. So this is going to be for the sign of um, Ophiuchus. So with this one, um, technically, sometimes it's known as the 13th zodiac sign, um, but most people don't consider it a zodiac sign. It's actually a constellation. So every month when I do the monthlies, I really want to start adding a fucus because I'm a fucus myself. Um, I'm Sagittarius, but my birthday falls in between November 29th and December 17th or 18th. So if your birthday falls anywhere between November 29th to around December 17th, then you would be the sign of a fucus as well. So this is kind of like a bonus reading for all of my Scorpios and Sagittarius that fall between that range. So I was like, well, why not? Because I didn't really see um, that many consistent readings for it. All right, so again, this is a general reading. So please take the messages that resonate. If they don't resonate, don't make them fit. Um, go and check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. Again, this is for the sign or the quote unquote sign of fucus. And this is for uh, people's birthdays that fall anywhere from November 29th to I believe December 17th or 18th. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm excited guys. I hope you guys are being safe out there. So spirit, what messages do you have for our fucus? And this is a timeless reading. So whenever spirit brings you this message, that's when it was meant. Ooh, all of my contact information is listed below if you would like a personal reading. All right. So the card you have is empathy. I see and hear you. Beautiful. Look at him. He looks so concerned. <laughs> All right. Spirit, can I have two cards, please? All right. So we have no need to worry. One more card. And improving health beautiful and you know improving health can be improving physical health you know your mind body or spirit it could also be improving of a relationship or improving of your finances so what messages do you have spirit all right so we're starting off with divine timing will of fortune so i always say it is spirit time not your time so that always causes causes for you know a little bit of patience and faith you know knowing that the universe is working in your favor and you know supporting you and guiding you so next we have devil so it may speak of obligations or responsibilities in our life We have the world card, so some type of successful completion. The empress, very creative, very fertile energy. Look at that, six of wands, so some type of success coming in. Beautiful. The hangman. You know, going within, reflecting, pausing. Ten of Pentacles. Some type of financial abundance, financial gain. And a new beginning. Beautiful. Ace of Wands. All right, so Spirit, can you please clarify the Wheel of Fortune? So with the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Two of Pentacles. So we may be juggling, maybe balancing, 
our finances, a relationship, a situation. There's some type of celebration going on. Maybe going out to eat, having drinks. Maybe you're celebrating how well you're able to balance in your life. With the devil, you have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords. So this speaks about some type of messenger coming in. You know, when the Page of Swords comes up, I always say, get more information, get more details. But with the Queen of Swords coming up here, I feel like you're going to have to make a decision in regards to the messages that come in. This messages may bring in several options. But you're focused, you're dedicated, you're working hard. But I feel like you're you're gonna be moving forward with with whatever options you feel fit. You're really gonna be tapping into your intuition. So what about the world? So there's gonna be some type of uh some type of completion and you have the eight of swords here so some type of stress some type of anxiety so with the knight of swords coming in this is about some type of sudden change with the energy i feel like it kind of it might catch you off guard a bit but I feel like ultimately it's going to lead you to the nine of pentacles, to your abundance, right? So you, you know, you might be in this energy of worrying in this energy, but spirit is saying there's no need to worry. So with the empress, we have the queen, the king of swords. We have the five of pentacles. and the seven of wands. So whenever the court cards come up or the people cards, this could represent your energy or someone around you. So with the Empress, it's a very fertile energy. It's about growth. It's a very creative energy. It could be a mother figure. It could represent your mother or you could be a mother. With the King of Swords, you know, he's very analytical, very witty very practical could be someone in law enforcement or the law but there's this energy of lack or some type of loss here you know there's also an energy of uh, defending yourself maybe having a few uh, obligations or obstacles to overcome i feel like this is where this health is coming in Perhaps either you're dealing with, you know, health issues with some type of lack or maybe somebody close to you, like either a mother figure or a father figure, someone, someone that you respect. But there's some type of some type of lack here and some type of uh, some type of obstacles. But I wouldn't worry about it because you have the six of swords here. I, I feel like things are are going to improve. You have the Six of Swords. This could be an energy that kind of takes you away from your comfort. It makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable dealing with this. But know with justice showing up that, you know, things are going to balance out. Things are going to get better. Things are going to work out fairly. So with the Six of Swords here, you have the Two of Cups. So this speaks about some type of celebration. You could be recognized, you know, the two of cups. This could be, um, this is somebody that you have some type of soul connection with. It could be romantic, platonic, friendship, family. But there's an energy of success around you and this other person. For some of you, I feel like it really could be romantic. You have the ace of cups here. This, this person um, makes you feel fulfilled. You know, your cup is, is, is filled. So 
So with the hangman, you have the high priestess here. So this is you. I feel like I feel like you're you're really going to be tapping into your intuition and you're really going to be going within and pausing and kind of looking at the situation for what it is. And, you know, with the high priestess, she doesn't always give out the information that she knows. But this is you really checking in with yourself. Yeah, you're you're staying cool about it, like emotionally. I mean, calm, cool, and collected. The Queen of Cups is also very compassionate. So I see empathy up here as well. You're being compassionate about a certain situation. You know, it could be in regards to something that is that you feel obligated to or that almost makes you feel bound but i feel like because you're coming from a place of compassion or empathy um i don't see this as a negative card i really don't i, I feel like you're handling this situation <clears throat> or this person with tact like it's a it's a very loving energy So with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Cups. So this is you moving forward. This is you moving forward from an emo um, emotional situation. And you're moving in forward to your abundance. Some type of financial gain here. You're moving forward from any type of past hurt, past sorrow, into your abundance yet again. Beautiful. Next, you have the Ace of Wands here. This new opportunity, it could be a new job, a promotion, a new way of thinking, a new relationship. Look at that, clarity. This is a new beginning on a new beginning, right? You have the Moon card here. You know, if there are certain things that weren't clear, they're gonna be clear now. So for you guys, I feel like the, the, the theme of it is divine timing, right? Spirit time, not your time. I feel like divine timing is really going to play a part in this whole situation. So let me get a few tea leaf cards. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. Beautiful. I feel like everything is, everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to work out. And then you have reconciliation. You know, maybe maybe there were things that were said. Maybe um, there's some type of uh, relationship that's going to be mended. Ooh. Do you have any additional messages? Okay, you have Peacock here. Beware of great pride. So this, this message isn't for all of you guys, but you know, I do see a lot of financial gain here and a lot of abundance. Um, Spirit is just saying, <clears throat> make sure you're coming from a place of love and compassion. Carriage, a journey either physical or mental. So you could be doing some traveling physically from one place to another. And you have angel, beautiful, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So, you know, overall spirit is saying there's no need to worry. You know, everything's going to progress and move forward and fall into place exactly how it's supposed to fall into place. So thank you so much for watching this reading. If these messages resonate with you, please like, share and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification button so that way when I post videos, you'll be notified. Till next time.